Hello everyone, I hope that you're doing well. Normally we have chapel, but since we're not able to do that, I wanted to make sure and have my helpers uh, help me with singing the We Are In God's House Today song. We always start off chapel that way. So let's go ahead and we're going to sing together, We Are In God's House Today. You guys ready? Yep. All right, here we go. We are in God's house today. today in the name of God the Father, and in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, Messiah Lambs and Messiah Lambs parents. I hope that your week is going well, and I also hope that all the homeschooling is going well. Welcome to chapel, and today I want to talk to you guys about something really special, something that you cannot see but you know is there. I want to use an example. Today I brought with me a fan. You can see the fan I brought with me. There you go. And I brought with me some ribbon. Now, when I turn this fan on, you're going to be able to see that it's going to do something great with this ribbon. Now, it, this fan feels great. I know it's blowing air and this air feels so wonderful but you can't see that air, can you? But if I hold up this ribbon, you can see that it's moving this ribbon. See that? So even though I can't see this air, I can't see the wind that this fan is making, I know that it is there, okay? Well, this reminds me of something really special in the Bible. And I want to read to you a verse from the book of John, chapter 14. And this is verse 16. It says, Jesus is saying, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever. Well, what's amazing is we know that this helper has a name, and his name is the Holy Spirit. Can you guys say Holy Spirit? Well, when Jesus went to be with his Father in heaven, he made sure that his disciples knew that they were going to receive help from someone. And we know that that someone is God, the Holy Spirit. And so I want to make sure you guys know that the Holy Spirit, you know, he lives inside of you and in me. And when we read God's word, when we hear God's word, the Holy Spirit works in you and he works in me and he gives us what's called faith, right? He strengthens our faith. And I want to make sure you guys, re, re, I want to make sure and remind you guys that no matter what's going on in your life, no matter hard, how hard things are, that we have the Holy Spirit and that he's always with you and he strengthens you and he comforts you and he does that through God's word. So I want to make sure you guys know that this week. And I also want to make sure you guys know how special you are and that Jesus loves you. He's always with you. And the Holy Spirit is always working in us and through us. And he comforts you. And I pray that God would continue to comfort you this week and strengthen you as you are in his word and as you continue to homeschool. And let's go ahead and close in a little word of prayer. Let's do our prayer hands. Dear Jesus, thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for comforting us. Amen. I hope that you have a great rest of your week, and I hope that uh, all the homeschooling continues to go well. And I hope that someday we can have chapel again together, and we miss you. God bless you. Bye-bye.